Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to add Calendly invitee as leads in Salesforce which means that there are multiple events in your Calendly but if for any specific event or for all the events an invitee registers themselves for that event then that data will be used to create a lead in Salesforce. Here we are going to integrate both these applications and in this automation that we are going to create using Public Connect our trigger will be the invitee created in Calendly and our action will be to create lead in Salesforce. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, let us learn that how you can create leads in your Salesforce account whenever a new invitee registers themselves in any Calendly event. Let us quickly sign in into our account. That will take me to this page where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now and we will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as add currently invitee as leads in Salesforce. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. Now you will be able to see trigger and action the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation works. Now before that, I would like to remind you to open your Calendly account and also your Salesforce account so that you are able to connect both these applications with Pabli Connect easily and then you can make the required changes for this automation in these applications. Like you can see, here is the lead section of my Salesforce where the existing leads are seen. And then I have created event called educational seminar for that as soon as any invitee registers through this page which is the view page of our seminar or we can see the Calendly event over here. So through this page we will register as an invitee as a dummy invitee and then that will trigger this workflow and then in the action application which is going to be Salesforce a lead will be created. Like trigger says when this happens an action says do this. Trigger is the first application which is Calendly because the invitee registration will be the trigger of the workflow and then the action application which is Salesforce will make sure that a lead is created with the detail of that invitee. So here open Calendly and a trigger event is invitee created by the user. Now we need to connect Calendly and Pabli Connect in such a way that whenever a new invitee registers all the data of that invitee is sent over here as the response. Click on connect and then add new connection. Click on connect with Calendly and it will automatically detect the presence of an open account and here the connection is successful. Now you will see the organization is selected over here. This is just one and then the user is Jane Iyer which is the name of our Calendly account. Alright, then we will click on save and send test request and then go here to fill in this form right there. So I will click on save and send test request and it will start waiting for a webhook response. So I will go back here and fill in the details. It is a one day event. I will click on the date and then select the time period in which duration it is available. This is the time. Click on next and enter the details. So I will enter over here as name, then email address, then the contact number and the subject or title because it is an educational seminar. So if you want to give a title to your cells or for designation or subject then accordingly fill in the field. So these are the details, click on schedule event and then we have registered for that specific educational seminar. When you go back here, see it is still waiting for a response and we received a response. First thing that we see is the email address, then is the name of the person, then we have the contact details and the designation or title, which means that we have received all the details related to that seminar also, the location, what is the type of event, then the name of the event and all the details and also the date and time at what time the event was scheduled. So we have received almost all the details of the invitee right here. Now what we do is transfer this detail to Salesforce so that a lead can be generated. For that our action event will be to create a lead. Select this event and then click on connect because now we will transfer the information to Salesforce. So Pabli Connect and Salesforce need to be connected add new connection and connect with Salesforce. It will automatically detect the account. You just have to click on allow to give access to Pabli Connect to create a lead in Salesforce with the information that we have received from Calendly. 
now we see that we require the first and last name separately so what we need to do is add one small step over here that is separating the name so here we will click on the plus button to add one more action step between the trigger and action and the step is text formatter so text formatter is a feature that is built by pably that is built inside pably and we can use it to bring out changes to our text right now i'm going to use split text over here and click on connect now connection is not a difficult task because the feature is of pably only and here we will first of all map the data that needs to be split so mapping is basically taking the data from the previous step and mapping it right here so that every time a new data arrives so that will be changed if you write it in a manual or static manner then it is going to be permanent always so click on this drop down menu and choose the complete name from here now this is the complete name and now what is the separation over here the space you need the two different names over here first and last name separated by the space so i am going to type space over here as written in the help text what segment i want all because i want the first name also and last name also click on save and send test request and then you will see that the response will have the name separated see it's riya singh they are separated now they can be successfully entered in our salesforce data but since we have added a new step between suddenly so we will refresh this by clicking on connect and save select existing connection and click on save now this is how you will refresh the connection and the last name will be mapped now from text formatter which is this and the first name is this again from the text formatter what is next yes we have a title or company so company is a perfect one because we are going to tell where the person works so we will take that point from here you can use the search and map data field to get to the value directly this is how i can find the data my value that needs to be mapped without scrolling phone number yes we do have a phone number so i'm going to type the hint over here and this is my phone number email address so i will type in search and map data at the rate and it will straight away take me to the email address now is there any data required no is there anywhere which required is written no which means this is the important part you can fill in more fields depending upon your requirement now since in the form of calendly event we were not filling the address that is why we do not have these values over here but since they are not required you can click on save and send test request and wait for the response from salesforce and here we have received an id now whenever you receive an id from the action application it is a proof that something has been created and this is the id of that created lead product or whatever it is now success is one which means public connect says that our workflow is a success now we go to salesforce and see here we do not see the newly created lead so let us refresh this and see it's here the name is here the company is here the phone number is here if you open this one you will get the email address as well and see here is the email address which means that this lead can be created once anybody has registered themselves for this educational seminar so you do not need to open these responses of the seminar again and again in calendly rather than just look to your lead over here one more thing is here that if you want only one specific type of event to be made the lead over here so what you do is put a filter in between if you click on this plus button and put a filter over here so that you want only the educational seminar events to be transferred ahead so what you do is take from calendly and type over here educational seminar which is the name of the seminar so this resource name should be equal to educational now this is the name all right click on save and send test request it is equal to this so in this case it is going to be a success as the response says that the resource name right now is equal to the value that we have given so i only want that in calendly even if i create multiple events over here so anybody who registers for educational seminar will only be sent to salesforce to create a lead if they are registering for poetry workshop then a lead won't be created for them so what we will do over here is we have applied a filter now this workflow will allow only the educational seminar invitees to move ahead right so let us refresh these two steps again that is the text formatter and then we will refresh once again salesforce also okay rest of the values are already mapped because they were not refreshed click on save and send test request and here you will see that the response will be 
the id and success which means that this lead is created all right why it was created because we have added this filter where it allows it to move ahead okay so this filter by pably allows this situation to be satisfied now once this situation is satisfied then this workflow will run ahead so what we will do is now we will create an invitee in this another event over here view booking page and now i will do the entry like the same date around same time and i will enter the details over here click on schedule event and this is filled now because we have filled this data it will be sent to calendly over here but this filter will see that the resource name of your educational seminar is not the same right it will be poetry workshop over here so since we have created a lead here in salesforce for sing ria but no one will be here like demo person why because they registered for poetry workshop and not for this specific seminar so this filter depends upon your requirement if you want to be very specific of the calendly event then you can put the filter otherwise if you want to create leads of all the events in your calendly then you can go for without filter workflow so this was the whole video i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you